This video is a comparison of Google Classroom, Schoology, Canvas, and Jupyter Ed. We wanted to see which ones actually help teachers save the most time, so we chose a couple common tasks and clocked every step to get an objective measurement of how easy they actually are. The first task we measured was to grade an assignment for 25 students. We chose a writing assignment where we also had to insert comments. And as you can see, here are the results. I'll show you the actual screen captures in just a little bit, and I'll show you how we came to these numbers. The second task was to create a quiz with 10 questions. The results here happened to be in the same rank order. In fact, when we looked at other tasks, if there were differences, they tended to be in the same order. So this seemed like a consistent measure. Notice the differences are quite large, even more than double. Teachers normally do thousands of clicks per day. So if one app takes 1,000 clicks per day and another app takes 2,000 clicks, the difference is 1,000 extra clicks per day, which means 5,000 extra clicks per week. At one second each, that equals 1.4 hours of extra work per week. Now for the rest of this video, I'll show you the screen captures and dive into the details. Let's start with Google Classroom. To grade writing assignments, part of our task was to insert four comments. So first we select, click, type, and click. We're counting one second for each click and two seconds for typing comments. So that's five seconds and we do that for four comments. Google does have this comment bank here, but we found that takes just as much time or adds even more steps to click the autocomplete menu. Then to grade it, we click, type, click, and click. Then we click for the next student. We're counting that as five seconds. Repeat that for 25 students, which totals 625. But actually, if we return all grades at once at the end instead of one at a time, that saves two seconds each student and adds four seconds at the end, reducing the total to 579. Now let's look at Schoology. To insert comments, first we select the Note tool, which is one second. Then we select, type, and click, which is four seconds. Then we do that for four comments. Then to grade, we click, type, click, and click. Then we click for the next student, so that's five seconds. Repeat that for 25 students, which totals 550. Now let's look at Canvas. To insert comments, first we select the tool, which is one second. Then select and type, which is three seconds. And we do that for four comments. Then we click and type. Then click for the next student, so that's three seconds. Repeat that for 25 students, which totals 400. And finally, let's look at Jupyter. To insert comments, we select and click, which is two seconds. We'll use this palette for three of the comments, but for the fourth comment, we'll double click, then type and return, which takes three seconds. Then we click a score and click for the next student, which is two seconds. Repeat that for 25 students, which totals 275. Here again are the results. The speed graph is simply the inverse of time. Note that we are counting only required steps, nothing optional, and we're using any available shortcuts to get the fastest results for each app. And while some apps had slower server lag time, we did not count that. Now let's look at Google Classroom for the second task. Here we need to create a quiz with 10 questions. So first we click, click, type, and click, which is five seconds. Then we type the question and answers, but we are not counting this time since that depends entirely on you and it's the same on all apps. Then we click, type, and click, which is three seconds for the first question. But for all additional questions, there's one more click here, so that's four seconds, and we need a total of six multiple choice questions. Then we need some short answer questions, so we click, 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 and type, which is five seconds. Again, not counting the time to write the questions. And we repeat that for four questions. And that brings the total to 48. Now let's look at Schoology. First we click, click, type, click, and click, which counts as six seconds. Then we click, click, and click, which is three seconds, and repeat for six multiple choice questions. Then we click and click, which is two seconds and repeat for four short answer questions, which makes the total 32. Now let's look at Canvas. First we click, type, and click, which is four seconds. 
Then we click once for each multiple choice question, and we need six. Then for short answer, we click, click, and click, which is three seconds, times four questions. Then one click to save, which makes the total 23. And finally, let's look at Jupiter. First, we click, click, type, and click, which is five seconds. No steps are required for the first multiple choice question. Then it's one click for each additional question, and we need six total. Then for short answer, we click, click, and click, which is three seconds. Then it's only one click for each additional question, since it remembers the menu selection. And we need four of these questions, and that totals 16. Here again are the results. All these apps offer free trials if you want to test them out for yourself. I hope this helps you and your school make an informed decision.